Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm going to go over some gameplay from yesterday. Yesterday was the last day of the season. So this was the last couple Q sessions of the entire season. Actually, this was last night. So literally the last Q session of the entire season. Um, and I'm playing some Destro MLS. I was trying to, we were already in range, but my friend Reeves was a little bit out of range. So we queued up some more to actually try to get him into range. And uh, we ended up losing a lot, and then we ended up winning some more. And I think he's gonna get rank one, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, he's just he's borderline on it on the rank one title. I think I got rank one on two of my mages, and I think I got gladiator on the shadow priest this season. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I wanted to get rank one on my priest. I just didn't have the, the time and the partners to actually get it. I don't think, but uh, maybe next season I'll push for rank one on the priest. But I am happy with gladiator um, on my ult character as well. This is a game against Rhett DK. Pretty simple strategy here, like I've been going over in the other videos. We're going to go be going for Sheeps and Fears when we need the peel. And other than that, we're just going to be going um, on Rhett or DK. Uh, kind of like DK, actually, a little bit better recently. Um, just because Rhett has that, such a short bubble and you can just keep lining. But we shouldn't lose this matchup. We're basically pumping damage into any melee that's in the middle. And they're just they're kiting. Between, you know, I'm just kiting. Simon's pumping. Um... Or, or they're on Simon and I'm pumping. And when I say pumping, I just mean doing an insane amount of damage over and over. And there's not much they can do about it. We do want to stay away from boxes, though. We want to play more in the middle of the map so they can't line up sight when they do get low HP. Um, but other than that, you, you just keep Frostbolt, 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 Frostbolt. Five Frostbolts, then a Glacial. And then keep Frostbolting and you pop your Ice Form. Keep Frostbolting into that Ice Form root. Um, and then Frostbolt, Ice Nova, Frostbolt, Flurry, Shatter combos, more Glacial Spikes and... Um, yeah, pretty much you only do want to sheep either if you want to set someone up to kill them out of a cap totem or if you want to sheep to actually peel, um, like you see here, if, if one of your teammates is actually dying. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're pretty much just kiting around in the middle and, um, and chaos bolting, glacial spiking until something dies. But yeah, guys, I wanted to talk briefly too in this video about, um, I was going to say drama from from like the arena mate arena tracker discrepancies from last night from the title cutoffs. It's not really drama, but uh, so arena mate showed rank one cutoff at like 2831 and arena tracker showed the cutoff at, you know, for a while at like 2800, but then it eventually did go up. And the whole discrepancy here was uh, one site was saying it was top 100 spots and the other site was saying it was top 82 spots. And not, no one really knew which site was correct. And I guess still technically we don't know, but I just wanted to briefly explain. Uh, see, we just killed a DK there eventually, uh, even in his AMC. And GG to those guys. It's just a very, very difficult matchup. But I basically just wanted to explain the, the difference in these numbers. So Arena Mate was getting their numbers um, from the Alliance and Horde ratios because titles were split between Alliance and Horde. So Arena Mate actually... Um, well, for first, Arena Mate and Arena Tracker both agreed on their numbers. They thought it was top 100 spots, and they both agreed on the number um, that it was about a 67-33 split. So 67% of the population was Horde, 33% 30, uh, or so population of the PvP ladder was Alliance. And at a high level, the top 5,000 people, this is true, okay, that the split is 67-33 for the top 5,000 players. But the, the discrepancy here is, wait... The top 5,000 players don't make up all of the players. Because I think there is, uh, this number could be wrong, but like near, a, a little over 100,000 players participating in this arena season, right? So if there's a little over 100,000, and you're only looking at the top 5,000 for your number breakdown between Horde and Alliance, the number's obviously going to be a little bit off because more high-rated players are Horde. All of the, the good, you know, streamers and the, the good pro players are all playing Horde right now. So if you're higher rated, you're more likely to be Horde. So... At the last day, Arena may have found out, wait, at a lower level, near 1,000 rating, there's a lot more Alliance players. If there's more Alliance players, that means um, the split isn't actually 67-33, but in fact, it's more like 55-45, which means if the split is more 55-45, that means there's less Horde rank 1 spots and more Alliance rank 1 spots. I hope I'm not losing you guys here, but basically, instead of 100 spots, it's only 82, and on top of that, this isn't really... Um, this isn't really like set in stone it's more of a guess so they could even be wrong as well so this was more of just like a guesstimate like a rough, rough like um 
okay, I think there's about 55-45 type of a thing, and they um, called it exponential smoothing. So what they did was they looked at the top 5,000 and compared it to the top 1,000, uh, or uh, numbers around 1,000 rating, and kind of did an average of the two, and kind of guessed what they thought was going to be rank one in Gladiator range. So I hope this clears things up for everyone um, not really knowing about the difference between the two. So yeah, we'll actually find out in two weeks, but uh, a lot of the people that I've talked to, um, a lot of the people that I've seen, you know, pushing for rank one and Gladiator were pretty much um, going off of Arena Mates because it was more safe, right? Um, they were, they had it less spots, so if you got into the even less spots, you're pretty, pretty freaking safe. Um, but at the same time, Arena Mates ladder wasn't updating yesterday. So you had to go off Arena Mates numbers an arena trackers ladder which was updating so it was actually very confusing but i think uh i could be wrong i could be wrong we'll see in two weeks but i think the rank one cutoff was about 2850 on horde not sure about alliance and i think gladiator cutoff was about 2570 on horde also could be wrong so if i'm if i'm upsetting some of you guys like no i just missed gladiator just missed rank one um uh, something like that uh, I'm sorry, I could I could be wrong, I don't want to, you know, be the bearer of bad news if I don't have to be, but that's uh, what I was talking to a lot of my friends about, and I think that's what it'll be, uh, with, with not too much certainty, but uh, yeah, that hopefully that clears things up with Arena Mate and Arena Tracker, because I know when two websites are saying it's a different title cutoff, and you're like, should I play one more game, or risk losing it all, or should I stop now, and, and hope I'm safe, I like... I know a bunch of people yesterday were just freaking out. Um, it was kind of cool though. So if rank one is actually top 82 spots, that's pretty competitive. If it's only 82 people in the US essentially getting it on Horde and no one cares about Alliance, if it's only 82 people in the US getting it on Horde, that's crazy. Um, I am pretty proud that I got it on two mages. I was one of only a few mages to get it in the US this season because mages despite uh, you know, a lot of the, the one-shots you can do, aren't that great right now. So with Destro MLS and WMD, I kind of just overcame that and just played a lot. Um, took off the last couple of days of streaming so I could play off stream, really focused, and I played a lot with Simon, so shout out to that guy, shout out to Reeves, shout out to um, to Knowledge and Mame and all the other warriors I played with, Sony D and stuff. Um, you guys are awesome. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much the games. Uh, probably be up I have more of the games that we queued yesterday. I'll, I'll be uploading them in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Comment down below what you guys want to see next time. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.